And this next section, I would like to move along to another of those motivating questions. And in this case, it's the question, oh, which revision was it I sold to Algernon again? So suppose I've done a whole bunch of development and I've sold a copy to Algernon and then I've done some more development to stick in Bertie's feature and now Algernon is asking for something fixed. Well, I need to somehow be able to get the version of the code I gave to Algernon. I need to be able to remember what was version one that I that I sold to Algernon. Uh, so if you can imagine, you might start with an initial commit and you make some changes and OK, that looks like it's feature complete for version one. We're going to release this as version one. And so we're going to apply a tag to the commit and say that is release 1.0 and Git will store the tag uh, so that I don't have to manually remember what on earth the commit hash for release 1.0 was. And then we might do a little bit more development and a couple of lines down, versions down the track, we might decide, OK, that looks like that's a good version 2. Let's release that as version 2. And then we do some more development. Algernon comes back to us and says, you know what, that release 1.0 that you sold me, it's got a bug in it. Um, and I would like you to fix this bug. So now we're in the branching situation that I've got to go and make some changes to the version that I sold to Algernon, release 1.0. And so I might need to check out release 1.0 and somehow I need to make a change to release 1.0 that's different than all that stuff that I've done since then about implementing release 2.0. And so I can then end up with a branch in my commit history. So this is how it ends up being a directed acyclic graph. It's got lots of arrows coming from lo lots of nodes, but it's not just a linear history. And so I make some changes to version 1.0 and a couple of commits down the line, I decide, you know what, that looks like that's version 1.1. But so now I've got different branches of development and I've got, I've tagged some of these particular releases and those tags are fixed. Uh, but I might also want to know, you know, what's it, where am I up to on the master or the trunk branch, my main line of development? The way that Git does this is um, a branch is essentially a pointer to a commit. And so branches move. Every time you commit, the, the branch pointer moves to the latest commit. And so the branch pointer on master, sometimes called trunk, um, in other version control systems is pointing to that most recent commit and the question of well what commits are on master is answered by following the arrows backwards. Uh, everything that is a parent of that commit is on that branch. Uh, so release 1.1 is not on the master branch because if I follow the ar arrows backwards I won't get to it. Here we've got the 1.x branch so this is where I'm up to in uh, you know, the, currently the latest commit on the 1.x branch is the one that I've tagged as release 1.1. Chances are, when I did release 2.0, I will also have wanted to create a branch for the 2.x version. Um, as it happens, I haven't got any additional commits on that branch yet, but it's still a branch. I can still have a branch pointer pointing to that commit saying that this is the 2.x branch and if I check out the 2.x branch and make some changes then it can you know fork off and we'll, we'll get another parallel line of development. Okay let's now pop back over into um, let's pop back over into our text editor and so here we are back in our very simple example and uh, we've got some file.txt and we've got more a.txt. And if I go git status, uh, on branch master, nothing to commit, working tree clean. And so what I'm going to do, if I look at this, I've got this git log that says, well, this is where I made a mondegreen. I'm going to do something a little bit curious. I am going to check out this previous commit. I'm going to go git checkout. And I'm going to put a commit hash in. I'm going to recommend you don't normally do this. When I do that, it's going to say I am now in detached head state. Head is this special pointer that means what have you got currently checked out? And I haven't told it to check out a branch. I've told it to check out a very specific commit. And I've done that because I'm popping back in time to create a branch. So I'm going to come back here and I'm going to say git 
branch and let's call this um, let's just call this lecture test and now if I go let's just go git branch to list the branches that are in my repository and it's going to say well now there is a branch called master as there originally was there is a branch called lecture test but I'm not actually on that branch I've still I'm still in this detached head state where I have checked out a particular um, commit from the history rather than saying that I want to check out a branch so let's now git check out lecture test let's check out the branch and so now I'm no longer in detached head state I'm on branch lecture test nothing to commit working tree clean if I go git log um, the commit where I added the Mondegreen is not there because it's not on this branch um, this branch its latest commit is this one where I first added more.txt and now let's go and edit more.txt and let's just do this let's go and change the same line and let's say this is going to cause me trouble and let's save it and now let's go git add more a.txt git commit minus m uh, change the last line with something totally unexpected and so now here I am and if I go git log we've added more a.txt and we've got this commit here where we change the last line with something totally unexpected if I now go git check out master and I want to go and see what's on master git log well that commit that I just added on the branch lecture test isn't there the most recent commit on the on the master branch is the one where I made a Mondegreen uh, but just as I could diff between uh, different revisions in the history I can also go git status well okay I am on master but what I would like to do is I would now like to diff with what the situation is on branch lecture test and uh, here we can see um, that well the difference going from lecture test to master is that um, lecture test has that line this is going to cause me trouble whereas master has that line and lady mondegreen and that's a removal of one line at line four and that's an addition of one line at line four the way I've, I've done that particular diff okay so that is branches and now I have two branches in my code and if I was to pop across to source tree for instance uh, it's very small but if you look up here you can see the commit, the, uh, commit graph and you can see the purple line of, of master and the blue line up here of lecture test and uh, here it says that I'm, I've, I've checked out master and I could go and check out lecture test uh, instead in which case uh, now I'm on branch lecture test and there's master over over there